Hey everybody, welcome to 5-Minute Facts. I'm Hunter Avalone, partnering with Young Americans for Liberty, and today we're going to be talking about the national debt. The term national debt is common in American households, although not many understand what exactly this means or how it pertains to them as an individual. So what exactly does this terminology mean? Whenever you deal with the national debt, you also have to look at something called the budget deficit. Simply explained, the federal government generates a budget deficit whenever it spends more money than it brings in through income generating activities. These activities include individual, corporate, or excise taxes. When the government outspends its income, it turns to the Treasury Department, which issues bonds as securities to lenders, both to companies within America and to other countries' governments. The national debt is the cumulative amount of annual budget deficits America owes to all of its creditors. As the end of March 2020, the national debt is well over $23 trillion and is only growing. The past 60 years have seen the national debt skyrocket from around $286 billion in 1960 to over $23 trillion today, which comes out to over $70,000 per citizen or over $190,000 per taxpayer. Regardless of political standings, most economists acknowledge that governments that run fiscal deficits have to make up the difference by borrowing money, which crowds out capital investment in private markets. This means that when the government borrows from the private sector, the money that is borrowed is not being returned into the private sector to further stimulate the economy. The social security system, endless foreign wars, poorly thought out tax cuts, and increasing interest rates to keep on attracting lenders to buy into the nation's debt are just some of the contributors to our present state of financial affairs. Recent presidents have repeatedly promised to balance the budget, but have only further added to the national debt at an astonishing rate. President Trump went as far as to say that he would completely eliminate the nation's debt in eight years, but instead he has added another $8.3 trillion to it in only three years. So how exactly will our national debt affect you directly? Well, first of all, what the government pays on interest on its own debt is only growing. This means that that slice of the debt pie is only getting bigger and will start crowding out the other benefits you are entitled to receive by paying your taxes. Since corporations won't be operating on the backs of relatively secure government bonds, their operations will be seen as riskier, thus causing an increase in the price of goods and services. But ultimately, it comes down to this. As the risk of a country defaulting on its debt service obligation increases, the country loses its social, economic, economic and political power, thus, in turn, makes the national debt level a national security issue. The Founding Fathers saw the national debt as a real issue for America's future and constantly warned against it. They saw debt being directly opposed to the prosperity of America and the strength of the nation. The uncontrolled spending of especially the more recent presidents in the name of strengthening the military and similar attractive causes would have the Founding Fathers rolling in their graves. Benjamin Franklin summarized it well by saying, When you run in debt, you give to another power over your liberty. 